Hi ladies, it's Dawn and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Dawn. I'm a 51 year old registered nurse, mother of four, married for 23 years. I'm an animal lover and I love the outdoors and I like to make things a little more beautiful, a little more beautiful than they were when I found them. So if you're into that kind of thing, I hope that you will subscribe and stick around. I'll share beauty advice with you. I'll share makeup, skincare, lifestyle, fashion, a little bit of everything. So um, yeah, I hope that you'll join my community here on YouTube. Um, so anyway, today's video is going to be a Palmer's skincare video. Palmer's from the drugstore. It's a brand that I don't talk about a lot on my channel. I have when I first started my channel but then you kind of forget about it because it's so affordable and so accessible. It's kind of like Kleenex, you know, or chapstick. We just assume everyone knows about it. But I have some Holy Grail products from Palmer's that I wanted to share with you because this time of year, I always start using one product in particular, and it is the Palmer Skin Success Anti-Dark Spot Fade Cream. And it looks like this, and it comes in this giant pot and as you can see, I've used quite a bit of it and I start using it every spring and I use it through the summer. And the ingredient in this product that is kind of like their claim to fame for this product is hydroquinone. It has 2% hydroquinone in it. It also has retinol, it has vitamin C, vitamin E, alpha hydroxy acids, and it says it has sunscreen in it but it doesn't say how much. So I always use an additional sunscreen with this product because when you're using retinol, hydroquinone, or vitamin C, you always want to add on some sunscreen, especially in the summer months when you're out in the sun. Um, so this, like I said, has 2% hydroquinone and it is very effective at fading dark spots and melasma but you have to use it consistently. So you can't just use it like once a week. You need to kind of go all in and use it like every day for at least a month and you will see results. You'll probably start to see some improvement within two weeks, but within a month, you'll start to see some good improvement. And then I use it all through the summer months every day. And it really keeps my chest area, it's kind of red right now because I had filmed this video once already and I messed up, so I'm refilming it. So I had rubbed some onto my chest. So this is what I do every day. I rub it, rub it, rub it onto my neck and my chest right here on the tops of my shoulders where I have a lot of freckling from past sunburns. And then at night, I put it on my cheeks and on the bridge of my nose where I have freckles. And whatever's extra, I rub it onto my hands because I don't want my hands to get um, sunspots. And it really does help that. Um, so hydroquinone you're supposed to use for like three months, then take a three month break and then use another three months and then a three month break because hydroquinone, you're not supposed to continuously use it all the time because it's one of those, it's like a dirty ingredient. It's just not really that good for you, but it is the gold standard in fading dark spots and freckles. So if you use it the way it's indicated, you should have no problem. And in the 2% amount, it doesn't come with that disclaimer, but I'm sharing it with you anyway as a registered nurse that I would only use it for like three months and then take a break. Um, the 4% hydroquinone, quinone that you need a prescription to get, you definitely need to use that with caution and take breaks. Um, I used the Obagi Clear for a little while because I thought this is so effective. What if I used something stronger? Everything would go away. Well, that's not true with skincare. You should always start at the lowest dose and see what the results are and then increase. Don't go all in. I've learned that the hard way. I've learned that the hard way with hydroquinone, which caused me to break out in these big welts and also made my skin really white in certain areas. And it took a while for that to go away. So I immediately got rid of the Obagi Clear. And that was so sad because I spent a pretty penny on that. This is definitely sufficient for me. And I love the results that I see. Um, and I, I also did that with um, Trentinoyan. I wanted so badly to use a 1%. I can never use a 1%. <laughs> My skin will never allow it. So I have to use a 0.5% and I can only use it once a week. So, you know, you have to learn what your skin can tolerate. So anyway, so that's the, the best product from Palmer's, in my opinion. The next one is hard to find, but you might still be able to find it. 
I can't find it. And it was the bust cream and it helps you not get wrinkles right here, especially if you're large busted and you sleep on your side. Um, I used that for years and years and I suddenly can't find it anymore. I think they discontinued it. So I'm now using the Gold Bond Neck and Chest Firming Cream. And I did make a video on this that I'll link below. It's not a Gold Bond, I mean, it's not a Palmer's product, but I wanted to let you know that it's a good replacement if you're a big fan of the bust cream or you're looking for a bust cream that works. And then the other product is the firming cream for your body from Palmer's. That is a wonderful product and I use it every summer when I'm wearing my bathing suit or my um, shorts and things like that. It's the best product that I can find for firming my legs and like here under my arms. And I even put a little here and it really does a good job firming. Okay, the next product is one that I used for years and years, and I kind of got away from it because I wanted to go into all clean beauty, and I started buying Derma E and um, facial oils, and I started experimenting with like higher end facial oils, but now I'm back to it, and I think it's a beautiful product, and it's the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula with Vitamin E Skin Therapy Oil for the Face. And it looks like this. And it doesn't really have a fragrance to it. If it does, it smells slightly of cocoa butter. Um, all Palmer's products have cocoa butter in them. So they have like a little bit of a chocolatey fragrance, which I think is kind of nice. It's not strong nor offensive, but many of their products have it. And this has a blend of 10 different oils, rosehip oil, jojoba oil, coconut oil, um, did I say rose hip? Um, let me see. I wrote down what it has in it. Almond oil, coconut oil, retinol, vitamin C, argan oil. And it has a blend of nutrients and vitamins that soak into your dermis. And it's just a nice little concoction that really does make your skin very nice. So I've been using this over my A313 or my Retin-A and I've been really liking it. And so then I started putting it beneath my eyes when I before I put on my makeup and it soaks in very nicely and keeps the area very supple. If you've been watching me, you know I like to use oils under my eyes every day before I put on my makeup. And usually I use the vitamin not the vitamin, the Derma E Illuminating Face Oil. And this has cranberry and rosehip oil, but this has just a really nice blend of other things too. So I would recommend this. I used to use it when I was in my 30s and in my 40s, and then I got away from it and I've been using it again over the past couple of weeks. And it's really nice. Okay, the next one I purchased many times, and this is really great for removing your makeup, and it's the Skin Therapy Cleansing Oil for the face, and this has rosehip oil in it, grapeseed oil, jojoba, um, what else, vitamin C, vitamin E, and it's just a nice oil, and I just use a pump or two of this on my hand, massage it into my face, and then rinse it off, and it does take off all my makeup and it doesn't leave my face feeling greasy or anything like that. I usually like to use a foaming cleanser to remove my makeup, but I've been using this for the past week and I really like it. I know a lot of women with mature skin have recommended this to me in the past or drier skin types. And I have combination to oily skin. It's getting drier as I'm getting older. But even with my um, combination skin, I do think that this is really nice and it doesn't clog up my pores or anything like that. So I would recommend this. It isn't a holy grail product for me yet, but I'm going to give it a go for a consistent period of time and, and see how I like it. And the last product is my Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Vitamin E Daily Skin Therapy 24-Hour Moisture. And this has an SPF of 50 and it's just a nice lotion. All my kids love this and I like for them to use it because it has an SPF 15 which isn't very high but it's a way to get sunblock onto their skin because often they don't think about that and so then I feel a little bit better knowing that there's something there and I do like this in the summer months after a shower because I like knowing that there's already a little bit of sunblock on my skin. So if I have to run out to the mailbox or if I have to run, do the incidental sun exposure running in and out of stores or something like that, I've got a little something on my skin. 
um, even though it's only a 15. It smells slightly of chocolate as well, and my kids love that. I'm okay with it, it doesn't bother me. So anyway, these are my favorite products from Palmer's. If you have any products that I haven't tried from Palmer's, let me know. So thank you for spending some time with me. I hope that you found this video helpful. And if you do try any of these products, let me know what your thoughts are about them. And thank you for spending some time with me. I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day.